Now, maybe you're thinking about redoing your basement. Maybe you're going to put up a couple rooms. You're going to throw a bathroom, maybe a living area, maybe an office. I mean, do what you want. It's your house, not my business. That's what I'm doing in my basement. I am building a YouTube studio where I can record and do all kinds of things and not have to worry about noise. I want my own area. Now, this is all pretty easy if you have an idea of how to frame. The problem is, how do I secure the wood to the concrete floor? Well, there's a couple different ways of doing it. The first method is tap cons. Me personally, I'm not a big fan of tap cons. If you don't drill down far enough, well, they're sticking out and you have to have a special impact type drill or rotary hammer to install them. And not to mention, they take too damn long. But don't get me wrong, they work. But if you don't want to go out and spend the money on a rotary hammer or your impact drill, well, this is an easier method and way quicker. So what we have here is called a ram set. If you're a professional, you have already heard of them and you probably definitely used them. The one thing about this tool is not only does it make it super quick to do the work, but it is really fun to use. All right, so let me show you how this thing works. All right, so you got your studs put up, you know, your wall was built. Now you got to secure it to the concrete. Concrete is pretty damn hard. So instead of sitting there drilling for an hour and a half, we're going to use our ramp set. Again, it is super fun to use and it is super, super quick. Now what I usually do is tack the wall with one nail and then level it out and then I use my ramp set. Oh yeah, there's two other things you need. Safety glasses and hearing protection because this is loud. All right, now here's the version of the ramp set that I bought. I'll leave a link in the description below, but there's other versions of this. Some are a little bit more ergonomically correct, but for the price, this one worked for me. So I got this and I need two other things. Now the second thing I need are my fasteners. This is the ramp set brand. It attaches two by fours to concrete. You can see it. I got the two and a half inch long because I really wanted to make sure that I got some depth when I drove these into the concrete. Now what's cool about this, this is basically a nail, but it's really hard. You got this little rubber piece up here, which I'll show you what that does here in a bit. But basically all they are are nails. They're also super cheap and only ran me a few dollars. Now because we're going into concrete, we're going to use the 22 cal. There's a bunch of different cartridges out there on the market. Let me show you a couple. It's actually really simple to pick out the shot that you need. It's color coded. So for example, we're going into solid concrete. So I'm going to use the 22 yellow. If I wanted to go into just concrete block, which is not as hard, I would go with a green or mortar joint. I would go with a brown. If I needed something more powerful, I could go with a red or a purple. So these have a hundred shots. It only ran me like four bucks for this entire box. And you really do get a lot for your money. I only paid a few dollars for this entire box. You get a hundred shot and that's what's cool about the ramp set. You don't spend a lot of money for the fasteners or the shot. So let me show you how this is used, dude. What we're gonna do is we're gonna open this up right here like so. We're gonna take one of our fasteners or our nails, put it in like so. Now this rubber piece right here is going to allow it to set in and it won't go anywhere. Now we need our 22 caliber shell. You can see in the box, there's a lot of them and trust me, these will go a very long way. Now you can see it looks just like a shell, 22 cal shell, but really all there is is powder in there. When I open this up like so, you can see there's a place to put this shell. So we're going to put this in like so. If it doesn't go all the way in, just bring this barrel back a little bit, push in and it's ready to go. Close it up. All right, so you can see that this is spring-loaded. Check this out. Now, when I push down on this, it is ready to fire. Your trigger is right here, and this is your padded handle. You're gonna place your palm on here because it's gonna wanna jump. All right, here we go. Check this out. I'm gonna push down. I'm gonna hold onto this padded top, and I'm gonna squeeze the trigger. Now what's cool is I have to remove this casing, just open it up and it pops out. You can see that smoke and that's your spent right there. Now check this out. That nail is driven perfectly down through that two by four stud and into the concrete and it's not going anywhere. And not only does that seal help prevent that fastener from falling out of the ramp set before you fire it, it also keeps the nail from getting loose up on top. And not only that, the damn thing is solid as hell. It will not go anywhere and that's real nice lag. and another cool thing is you can get into some really tight areas with this i'll tell you i wish i would have bought this years ago i always wanted one i was just too lazy to go up and get it or maybe too cheap but it's just awesome but now if you're a diyer and you have a limited budget 
Maybe you want to do it yourself, you don't want to hire a professional, but you still don't want to spend $100 or $200 on a specialized tool plus the drill bits and then the fasteners. Well, I think the ramp set's the way to go. Now, if you're a professional and you already have the rotary hammers and the impact drills, well, that's fine. You can use tap cons. But if you're on a limited budget, you want to do it yourself, you want to fasten the 2x4s to the concrete, I'm telling you, the ramp set is the way to go. I really wish I would have bought one of these years ago. I pulled the trigger, literally, and, and got one, and I could not be happier with the way it works. Now, now, however, I do want to let you know this. The damn thing is loud. It sounds like a 22 going off, so you're definitely going to need hearing protection. And it does have some recoil. Even though you have this rubber top up here, when you pull that trigger, you're going to feel it going up against your palm. So I would say maybe wear some gloves as well. My new favorite tool. And you know I appreciate you stopping by, but if you could squeeze that like button, it would be greatly appreciated. Also, if this video has helped you, you know, get subscribed, hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any more videos like this. I'll put a couple more right here for you to check out, but I would love to hear your feedback. Have you ever used one of these? Are you thinking about using one of these? Let me know in the comment section below. And with that, I'll be back with more videos soon.